Hi friends, welcome to Botanical Woman. I'm Christine and I finally got around to doing some terrarium maintenance on the terrarium build that you saw me do not too long ago actually. There were some mistakes that I'm going to share with you. It basically got way too crowded. I needed to do some maintenance on it. So first things first is I noticed that the cool liner that I used in the back, hoping that it would absorb the water from the bottom, did not work out very well. So if you were planning to do the same thing, I would definitely try to build a moss wall with some galvanized mesh that you can just pick up at the hardware store. I would try that to see if that's any better. It just doesn't absorb enough water and it was just, it was just dry. We could put a pump in, but I'm not gonna really do that because pumps run into their own issues, they get clogged, they break. It's annoying dealing with uh, pumps in general. Good old hand spraying, I mean, a manual spraying is, is, is the way to go, even though I'm super lazy about it. So that was the first thing I noticed. And then I had to go away for not too long. I went camping for five days, which I had a blast, super refreshing and I poured a little too much water in there and then was super lazy about like getting it back out. So there was some root rot, uh, particularly in the philodendron birkin, but luckily I think it's gonna be okay. Just be really careful when you're putting in the reservoir not to fill it above the line that you normally would. So if I'm using the aquarium, I'm probably gonna try to stay below the black line rather than going over it. I think that will help because the roots will eventually travel down. Like it'll grow down there and get the water that it needs anyway. So you don't have to worry about that too much. So yeah, that was too wet. Or actually the other idea that I had was increasing the depth of the reservoir. So make it at least four inches. With the 29 gallon one is probably not a problem doing that, but with the 20 long is gonna be more of an issue. Water carefully is, is, is the moral of the story. <laughs> The other thing is the light. So I have the light sitting on top of the tank and some of the taller plants um, got light burned. The leaves got light burned. Uh, but also some of the allocations got really leggy as well, which I was kind of surprised. I don't know. I'm not really sure I'm gonna change the light setup because it's just what it is and hopefully the plants will adapt. So because it overgrew and it got really crowded, the smaller plants at the bottom kind of got shaded out and the plants in the corner weren't getting enough light, but a lot of moisture. So there was a little, like rotting going on. Yeah, so thinning it out and not overcrowding it is the way to go. So don't do what Christine does. There were some mealybugs, so I just added some systemic. Use the systemics for at least a good six months and follow directions. And I think you will be able to get rid of it. I don't follow the directions. <laughs> I just do what I want. That's why I still have mealybugs. For the medium, I ran out of moss for this terrarium build. So I just ended up using more LECA and some pumice that I had. I really feel like you could use anything that is an inert material, meaning that it doesn't change over time. It's not gonna compress, it's not gonna break down, things like that. So use whatever you have. You can even recycle your um, aquarium gravel. That would be fine because I realized that the aquarium gravel is actually the same size as uh, Lechuza Pond. So that should work pretty well. It's obviously substantially more heavy. So you gotta think about that when you are putting it in your terrarium that you're gonna pull out to do maintenance on. I still think using something lighter like Leca or uh, hydro balls that you can get off of Amazon. Um, that is actually, I don't know if it's that much cheaper now, but it was a while ago. Everything's gone up in price. Just use what you have. Uh, you can obviously use perlite, but it's white, you know, it doesn't look as good. Whatever your aesthetic is. Ultimately, I feel like whatever medium you choose, whether you're, you know, repotting your plant or building a terrarium, I really think it's just about learning about the medium and figuring out how it works. For me, I think Leica is too dry to use on its own, even if you're using it in a self-watering pot. It is just too dry. Uh, so you have to give something else, add something else to it to um, give it more moisture because it really doesn't hold much moisture at all because the balls are also so big. I think the hydro balls that are actually smaller 
they will probably work better if you were using it alone. I have not tried, but just because of the size alone and that there's just less um, airflow will help it keep more moisture. If you can get your hands on some pond, yeah, that's a great way to go too. It's just really expensive and not, you're not able to get it in the US right now. I know you can get it in uh, Europe, no problem. Time to fly to Paris. The other thing that um, I didn't love was the floral pens. Even though they were really convenient, they were rusting. So you gotta try to find something else that's not going to rust and last longer. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe I could cut up some galvanized wire and then turn them into pins that way. But if you guys know of anything that are like floral pins, let me know. But otherwise I think um, I like keeping my plants in terrariums because I'm really lazy and they grow really well in the high humidity. It's great, especially if you want to like travel a lot, you know, you don't have to worry about them dehydrating because the terrarium really just creating a greenhouse. So a lot of the plants are doing really great. Like the ones that have made it and the ones that, um, you know, aren't doing so great, aren't doing so great. <laughs> That's just how that goes. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and hopefully I won't have to do more maintenance on it at least till the fall for at least another two months. I thinned it out pretty well, I think. I didn't overpack it in there. I really need more or a bigger terrarium, meaning a bigger aquarium. Once we move, if and when, I don't know when that is, uh, but I will get a giant one. I'll just put it all in there and it'll just be a nice big display of all my tropical plants. In the next week or two, we'll be releasing a video that I did on my friend's boathouse. So I thought it would be really cute to bring you guys along and show you a little bit of the boathouse and how I helped her uh, repot her plants. Just kind of dealing with things and trying to enjoy the summer and hoping that the pandemic is, doesn't come back in full blast, but it looks like it is, so that kind of sucks. I'm going to New York to visit my family. I'm going camping again. I'm thinking about releasing some videos on my Thai pooling and camping adventure. Yeah, we'll see. I hope you're enjoying your summer and I will see you guys next week. Happy growing.